All right, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to, what do we got? What are we doing today? We are doing, which way did the pony go? Yeah, I think that's the wrong video. That's it, sorry guys, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know where the pony went. What are we gonna do here? Let's figure it out. Next slide, what are we doing? We are doing pressure conversions today. So. The starting point here with pressure conversions is one PSI or one pound per square inch. And all we're doing is saying the pressure in different ways, or like say 12 inches is one foot, same kind of idea, same height, just a different, or same length, just a different way to say it. So what we're dealing with is one PSI or one pound per square inch, that pressure, if we were to convert it to kilopascals, one PSI would equal 6.895 kilopascals. One PSI would equal 27.72 inches of water column. So basically, if you took column of water or something like that, there's your column of water, filled it up 27.72 inches, what you'd be reading down here is one PSI. Now, as it turns out, 27.72 inches is... 2.31 feet. Yeah, there you go, look at that, it's crazy stuff. 2.31 feet, you fill that with water, once again it's water, fill it up 2.31 feet with water, what you get down here, one PSI, same concept. Now, there you go, 2.04 inches of mercury. So if we took a column of water, not a column of water, a column of mercury, and we filled that up with mercury 2.04 inches high, what we'd be getting down here is, once again, one PSI. Mercury is a little more dense, a little heavier than water. Okay? So there's our starting point. So the couple things we want to do here, we want to be able to do some translations from one to the other. Okay, so here's some examples. So the idea is you got five PSI and how many KPA? Well, what we need to remember is a translation number how they work. One PSI is 6.895 kPa. So if we take the five PSI, multiply it, we're gonna get a grand total of 34.48 kPa. We can do the same thing here with water column and feet ahead. Seven PSI, well each PSI is 27.72. So we're gonna go with what, 194.04 inches of water column. The feet ahead, same concept. Nine times 2.31. 2.31 feet ahead for every PSI. And we're getting 20.79 feet ahead. Okay, Those are probably the most, the more straightforward because we're starting with PSI and using these numbers to get to our KPA water column and feet ahead. Now let's do the reverse where we have a KPA water column and feet ahead. What do we do? Well, we just divide. We take the number of KPA we have and divide it by the number we need for one PSI. So we're gonna get here, 100 divided by 6.895 is 14.50. Same with the water column. Divide it, you take the number of inches of water column, divide it by the number you need for PSI, for one PSI, and you're gonna get 15.58. PSI, feet ahead, same kind of concept. You end up with 7.36. Now what you might be saying at this point, saying, wait, well, yeah, that's pretty easy. We're just, we're always dealing with PSI here. What if we do some crazy stuff like this? Oh, if we can get to it, let's see. What if we do some of this nut stuff? We're going from one, from KPA to Warcom, where's the PSI here? Now. There will be a number that you can translate from the KPS, KPA straight to water column. I don't want to remember all that stuff. I know how things work with PSI though. So what I can do is I can say, okay, what if I went to PSI and then up to water column? So translated the KPA into PSI. Well, there you go. We have 26 KPA. We know that number, 26 divided by 6.895. What we're gonna get is PSI, and we get, we've already done the calculation here, 3.77 PSI. Well, now we can take that and put it into water column. 
using our 27.72. So the answer works out to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 104.50 inches of water column. And we've just used PSI as kind of like an in intermediary. Same thing here, feed ahead, translate to PSI, roll it up to a KPA. Gold, 18 feet of head. Well, we have 2.31 feet of head for PSI. So we're gonna get a number 7.79. And then we know to get to KPA for every PSI, it's 6.895 and we get 53. 0.71. Hey, I hope this helped you guys. I hope this worked for you. And then in the end of the day, I don't know which way the pony went. Have a good day. See you guys later. Take care.